Well, actually, the audition process, of course, is how I got the job, but how I got it is I, probably the most interesting part because Leave it to Beaver was a cattle call. And for the most part, I didn't go on cattle calls just because usually people would call up and ask to work with me or whatever. But I just had this new agent whose name was Glenn Shaw, and he was very, very high on television series. And my mom really wasn't that sure that she wanted me to do a series, but he told her this was, you know, it, it's, a, it's a call and it, it'd be a real good job. So anyway, we go. And basically, there were about 5,000 people on the interview. And what they did is they had all these people and they would line you up. They'd say, okay, these boys have brown eyes, these boys have blue eyes, these boys have blonde hair, red hair. And they were looking for two brothers and their friends. So they first of all tried to line up brothers. And then you'd walk in and they'd say, all right, uh, say a line, you go home, you come back tomorrow, you go home, you go home, you go home, you come back tomorrow. So after doing this same process, and it wasn't every day, it would be like a week and then you'd wait a week and they'd call you back. I was a little tired of it. Um, I didn't like just sitting out there with all these kids and, you know, I'd rather go out and play after, after school because all these interviews were after school. And so we'd been probably to six or eight of them. And then I had just joined the Cub Scouts. And so I had my first meeting like on a Wednesday, say. And my mom came to me and said, guess what, Jerry? They've called back. Remember that interview we're going on with all the kids? Well, you're down to the last maybe 10 kids. But anyway, so you're, you're almost there. You're, you know. And I said, and the interview's tomorrow. I said, I can't go tomorrow. She said, what do you mean you can't go tomorrow? I said, well, I have my Cub Scout meeting. And it's the first one, and I can't miss it. And people that know me know that I'm usually on time or early. That's just my personality, it even was then. My mom goes, what do you mean? We spent all this time, you have to go. I said, well, I have to go to my Cub Scout meeting. She says, well, you know what? Your Cub Scout meeting isn't until maybe an hour or an hour and a half after school. She said, what we'll do is there's only going to be a few kids on it. We'll dress you in your Cub Scout uniform, and then we'll go to the interview, and we'll be back in time for it. And I said, okay, well, yeah, I, I guess I could go for that. So we, I got dressed up in my Cub Scout uniform, and we go there. And there are about 10 kids, but they took, like, this first group, for, well, two kids first. They were taking kids two at a time. And they went in there, and they probably spent maybe, it seemed like an eternity, but they probably spent 10 or 15 minutes talking to these kids. Well, the reason was is because they were down to their final pick, and they were, you know, going to pick that people for the show that time. So these boys come out maybe 10, 15 minutes later, which seemed like an eternity to me. The next ones go in and they spend just as much time. And just as those things always happen, I was the very last one picked. And so they, I come in and I was just really jittery. And the, the producers knew me because they'd interviewed me for probably six or eight weeks. And it was Conley and Mosier and they both had large families. They knew kids. So I think they had like five or six kids in each one of their families. So they looked at me and they said, Jerry, what's wrong? Um, you're so jittery today. Don't you want to be here? And I said, no, I want to go to my Cub Scout meeting. And they said, oh, you have a Cub Scout meeting? I said, yes, I'm going to be late. And they said, okay, you can go. So as I told you, all these other kids had spent 10 and 15 minutes in there. I walk in and walk out. And my mom says, uh, Jerry, what happened? How come you came out so fast? And I said, well, they asked me if I wanted to be here. I said no, and they said I could leave. My mom went, that's probably not the best thing to tell them because now they think that you don't want to work and you know we spent all this time so whatever and I went to my Cub Scout meeting everything went fine and that night um, they called and said that I had the job as the beaver and a new pilot and the reason I got the job is that they would rather have a kid that wanted to go to a Cub Scout meeting than be an actor so that's how I got the job for Leave it to Beaver.